Over at Mission Farms, they have something for everyone, businesses, restaurants, housing, and they want you and your entire family to come check them out. Good morning, Dr. Julie. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing lovely, and oh my goodness, who is this? This is Goose. He's my dog. He's a rescue from Wayside. Hi, Goose. Hi. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Julie, tell me a little bit about Good Vets. Yeah, so we're a dog and cat clinic. We've got three locations. This one is in Mission Farms in the Overland Park area. And then we have Lee Summit and we just opened in Prairie Village in January. Okay, I love it. So, you know, it's getting warmer outside right now. So I wanna talk a little bit about the risk of heat stroke during the summer. Yeah, so as it's getting warmer, we can definitely see heat stroke. It's a good idea just to be prepared and understand the risks. Mm -hmm. So some of the risks include being a brachycephalic dog. Those are the dogs with the smushed faces, mm -hmm. the flat like a pug or a bulldog. Um, being outside it without shade or water. Yeah. Excessive exercise when it's hot. And then of course being in a car. Yeah. You should never leave a dog unattended in a car. Even in a few minutes it can get way too hot in there even if the windows are cracked. So what are some ways to keep your pets happy and healthy during the summer? Yeah, so one is to watch out for their little paws. Mm -hmm. So even though their paw pads are thicker skin than the rest of them, they still can get burnt. Mm -hmm. So you need to, um, Pay attention to how hot the pavement is. If you don't want to put your hand on the pavement for at least 10 seconds, it's too hot for your dogs. Mm -hmm. So when it gets really hot outside, be sure